Praise God, everybody. This is Brother Paxton. Angie and I are taking our one of our usual customary evening walks here in Lexington, Virginia. We always come to the Stonewall Jackson Memorial Cemetery, walk around all through. We are at the grave of General E.F. Paxton again tonight, and I want to read a verse of scripture to you that this verse is something that I try to make a part of my life every day, and it's not always easy, let's put it that way, but it's Galatians 6, 14, here's what it says. But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified to me, and I unto the world. You know, self-glorification is an abhorrent attitude. And uh, one thing I love about studying the history of these men and women, and uh, any, any military type of situation, is that they knew how to march in rank, and they, they knew how to lay it all on the line for the cause. And I think as a Christian, uh, we could take a lesson from that. In today's world, we, there's a cause that's greater than ourselves. It's establishing the kingdom of God in the earth in our generation. And to set self aside and be able to reach out to others is something we have to continually pray about and ask God to help us do better and go an extra mile. You know, Jesus said, if a man shall ask you to go a mile, go with him too. And, and those are great sounding words, but they're not always easy to put into practice, just honestly. And so I think we could all use a little help in that area from time to time. I know that I can. And so my prayer is let me only glory in the cross of Jesus Christ. Hey, if it wasn't for the cross and the shed blood of Christ, I'd have nothing anyway. I'd accomplish nothing. I'd die and go right straight to hell. But because of the sacrifice that Christ made, I'm alive, and I'm alive not only in the flesh today, but I'm alive spiritually for eternity because of what Jesus, he not only saved my life, but he changed my life. And he made me a man who can be fashioned into the image of Christ. And so I'm thankful for that. We're gonna have a nice walk tonight, I hope wherever you are, that you will make Galatians 6, 14 a part of your prayer. And God answers prayer. Now, when you ask to lay self aside and to glory only in the cross, here it comes now, be ready. But it, it is a life that lives for the benefit of others and it's so much more worth it than anything you could ever try to do for self. In Jesus' name, this is Brother Paxton saying, go with God and he will go with you. Bless you.